Hello, welcome to GBS. So we're just going to look at the next part of this factory build. Last time we covered some of the bits on the engine, gearbox and so on. So we've now married the engine and gearbox together. We've got the engine in the car. Um, we've got the throttle bodies all fitted. So it's our own full billet throttle bodies, designed, manufactured in-house, all the machining. Started getting all the fuel lines in, the battery cables and so on. Alternators all on and all the um, auxiliary system for the belts and all the pulleys, all the nice billet pulleys we make, caps on the top there. Um, as we said last time, it's running the SADEV six-speed sequential. We've had a slight change to the specification on the car in that we're going uh, paddle shift now. So there's going to be the addition of an air cylinder on here that will operate the shifting. We're going to have the paddles. We're going to swap on the throttles as well. So we do a version of the throttles that are drive-by-wire. So we're going to put the drive-by-wire module onto this alter the pedal box. That way we can do all the seamless up and down shifts, blipping everything, so we can get much more control over the gear change. Um, so that's adding on. That's all in. We've got the front end on now, or the front corner, should we say. Um, so we'll have a little bit of a look at the, the front corners. So these are our own um, ATR front end. So it's our own design, hub, caliper, everything, um, with our own ATR damper. So, on the Zero, we offer a couple of different hubs. We've got the Sierra hub um, and the Mazda hub. We've got the Sierra ones as fully, reconned only, um, fully reconditioned units as well that we can offer. It. Um, and then the ATR, which is a, our own design, billet aluminium. We're using a standard off-the-shelf wheel bearing, same as Lotus use on the Lotus Elise and that. That's quite a nice unit. They're sort of 40 pounds anywhere in the world, really readily available and robust. They've got all the wheel speed sensor built in as well, which we can then integrate into the car's loom, into the ECU, so you can have traction, launch control, so on, link that to your CAN bus, to your gauges if you want. So all that hardware's in there. The idea behind the ATR hub was to get away from using any proprietary part, whether that's Ford, Sierra, Triumph Herald, as Cape News, or anything like that, um, and do our own dedicated design that's optimized for the car. So we wanted to get back to the sort of Colin Chapman thinking of it where every bolt has two functions, less is more, getting it as light as possible. So the bolts that hold the steering arm on also hold the wheel bearing on. So we've really optimized the design, tried to get nice long bolts. So there's plenty of stretch in there, particularly on the calipers and that. So over the thermal cycles, over the life of the component, you didn't get anything coming loose or moving. We're then running a 300 mil uh, floating disc. So it's a 300 mil disc, 20 mil wide, vented on our own alley bell and then onto the four pot caliper. Caliper's all fill, fully machined billet. On the machine inside, we've tried to get really nice contouring. So you're building that full bridge. So rather than some calipers that are very steppy, getting the full shape and the contour adds a lot more rigidity into the brakes and the positioning of the retaining bolts and things between them stops any movement in the cal caliper. So from a drive point of view, you've got a much more um, control and much more feel on it. You've not got that flex there. So every input you put on the pedal, you get onto the brake so you can feel that grip on the tire. Um, so we've optimized that, getting the kingpin angle so you go straight through the center of the tire, so you're not getting any pull or, or torque steer on the brake in, um, and the slight like offset for caster and so on, just to get the geometry how we want. And then it's on um, the wishbones on the ATR setup, a uh, thinner wall tube of a slightly higher grade, so we've optimized it for weight as well. And then it's got your um, rose joints and spherical bearing at the bottom. So we've then got our own dampers, the dampers are our own ATR damper, this design manufactured all in-house. So every part on the damper is made here apart from some of the seals and the bearings that we get in. But all the bodies, rods, gun drilling, piston design, and so on, is all in-house. So it's a full aluminium monotube design. Um, we'll probably do another video looking in depth at how the dampers work. But the general benefits of the monotube design, it gives you a much better reaction time. You're working over a bigger area in your piston. So you've got more control, more repeatability and a nicer feel to the car. The generally sort of that technology from driving the car, um, you can gain a little bit on your 0 to 60 as you're braking in that field just because the way the weight shifts and the way the tyre stays in contact with the road. But also then when you're driving on track and stuff and taking the kerbs harder and that, you tend to find on some of the sort of twin tube or the design dampers, you'll almost feel the wheel sort of going over the bump and seeing air under the tyre and it's a lot more jarring. Whereas this will actually ride over it and absorb because it's got a much better reaction time. We're getting 
um, damper force generated within about 0.3 of a mil of movement. So it means you can run a bit softer spring and so on. So it gives you a lot, lot more compliance and feel from the car and grip. Um, and then that's all into the chassis. And we've got our, the shock angle we've optimized as well. So it's got a slight raising weight, um, which means you don't necessarily need a roll bar um, for road use. Um, that's kind of the, the basics of the front end setup. Then we'll have a look at the rear end in the next video and the diff mat and the independent. Um, but that's kind of where we are today and then we'll follow this with the next video. So hope you um, subscribe and look for the next video. Thank you.